it's been no secret that one of the biggest hurdles when using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is power. This little mini mite devours batteries due in part to the internal cooling system necessary for all of the delicious high bitrate data flying through the processor. While you could just buy a truckload of the readily available Nikon style batteries, Indie Pro Tools has a better solution. Enter the Power Grid Dual Power System. This adapter utilizes two Canon LPE6 batteries, which are the same ones that run in most of Canon's higher end DSLRs. This means that instead of the stock battery's single capacity of 1200 milliamps, you get two 1800 milliamp batteries for a total of 3600 milliamps, which is an increase of 300%. The power grid comes with a mounting bracket to attach to industry standard 15 millimeter rails. From there, a cable just plugs into the camera power port. The adapter only works with both battery slots occupied. So to do a swap while the camera is still running means you have to have one of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera's own batteries in the camera. While the mount works fine, the only downside is that for most rigs, it's not quite heavy enough to serve the dual purpose of being a counterweight, which is something you could achieve if you use something like an Anton Bauer mount. Also, the device overall feels fairly cheap and hollow, and it kind of makes me wonder if this is worth maybe any more than seven to ten dollars in parts. The tightening knob to attach it to the 15 millimeter rails is not very smooth and actually requires a little bit more force than should be necessary to tighten it down. Always give it a little wiggle afterwards just to make sure you've secured it well enough. So is this worth buying? At under a hundred dollars, absolutely. Canon LPE6 batteries are cheap and plentiful, and having three times the battery life is a huge step towards making this a viable camera in the field. So have you tried out the Indie Pro tools on your Blackmagic camera? What did you think? Good results, bad results? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think of the device or if this is something that you're going to add later on. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Catch you on the next one.